I'll sleep tomorrow. I'll exercise next week. I'll start dating after I graduate. These are some of the ways that students postpone their mental health. One in 10 students meet criteria for depression, one in five an anxiety disorder, one in three significantly impairing stress, and 100% of students experience these issues at some level because that's university life. So what we need is effective prevention programming that can teach students skills to improve their daily life. But, of course, there are reasons why prioritizing our mental health is difficult. Busy schedules, stigma, a preference for figuring it out myself. So, how is my research overcoming these barriers? I'm building an online anxiety and depression prevention program that students can use when they want, where they want. Now, there are some online programs that have been tested in research studies and they're effective, but they're not widely used because they're poorly marketed and they're especially not used by male students. On the other side, we're increasingly seeing consumer apps and products which are more widely used, but we don't even know if they work because they haven't been researched. My program combines the skills and engagement strategies of these research programs along with those consumer-oriented marketing strategies. So my program teaches skills week by week, interpersonal skills, physical exercise, mindfulness, and students log skills every time they practice. All of this is incentivized by things like weekly prize drawings, insights into, into their stress and mood ratings, and customizable email practice reminders. Now, I'm advertising this same program here under two different names, the Happiness Challenge and Reboot Camp. This is in order to investigate the impact of marketing on student enrollment. So, did Reboot Camp actually attract different students than the Happiness Challenge? Yes, the men. So, especially those from the physical sciences. So the exact same program is marketed, different names, different students sign up. Overall, more students were engaged. In terms of performance, my research studies show that the students who complete the program experience significant improvements in their anxiety and in their depression. 5,000 students have already tried this program and I'm continuing to research how marketing and incentives can engage more and more students because this knowledge could be applied to any mental health intervention. But shifting tone, at my college graduation, two seats were empty because two would-be 2012 grads had committed suicide before graduating. I like to imagine a world in which anxiety and depression are prevented before students get to that place. So this research isn't rocket science, but mental health is something that affects everyone on every day. And the more students we can engage in it, the better. Thank you. <laughs>